Welcome back YouTube. On today's video, we'll be checking out my sump. Okay, here we are down at the sump area. Let me get these doors open. So you can guys take a look at my sump. As you can see, it's pretty dark in there without the refugium light on. But even with that light on, it doesn't light the whole entire sump. It only shines over the refugium area of the sump. Before we go any further, I'd like to say happy birthday to my wife. So I added some LED lights. Let me turn them on for you real quick. Here we go. And this is how the sump looks with the light on. I'd also like to give a thanks to Mike for hooking me up with the LED lights. So let's get a closer look at the sump. All right, back here we have my return lines. One's the main line and the other one's a emergency overflow line. The return line is controlled by the gate valve, control the amount of water returned at a time. And it overflows into these two four inch Micron 250 nylon socks that came with the system. They're pretty good, but they don't catch too much of the debris. And then that overflows over here into the skimmer section. This is a C-Skim 1800 skimmer, which also comes with the system. It's being fed by the main turn pump. You see right here, it's doing a good job. It has the see-through glass, which can control the height of the water. And that little button to the right is for, you could attach the line to it. And that's where it gets fed by, through that bowl valve right in there. That lever on the bottom, you can use to adjust the height of the water, but I'm using the bowl valve above to control that. And then you can see, you could adjust your height right there. That other knob that's down there. Move the camera right there. Right now is in, is in the operational mode. If I put the arrow pointing up, it goes into the wash mode, which washes at the, the window where the foam is being produced now. And if I point it straight down, it shuts off the water to the pump so I can take off the top without having to shut down the skimmer. Here's my refugium area. That's my Eheim heater right there. Also in the refugium area, I got some Chato, Live Rock, little JVO power head to circulate the water. Back up a little bit. That's my sump light. There's a shot of my little LEDs that got installed. Back a little bit. And here I have my two little fishies reactors. One has GFO, the other one has carbon. And both of the medias are from Bulk Reef Supply. Which I get most of my stuff from. From there, during the series, and a dump into the return. Don't forget to subscribe. Then it overflows. To the filter pad and back into the main pump. It's still a little dirty from when I first set up the pump, not mean the tank. I have to clean it out one of these days, and that feeds the main return and it breaks off on the manifold and feeds a skimmer right there. Then the back ball valve feeds the UV light, which I did in my previous video on. I finished it off, I added the pipe back. And that also dumps back into the return. You get a chance to hit that like button. And if you look down here, I have a float valve that feeds my RO water when the level gets slow. From the reservoir behind the tank, it holds 10 gallons. That's my full line. Come over here, I have my dosing canisters which get fed by these dosing pumps, also from Bulk Reef Supply. 
calcium alkalinity. Right now I'm dosing two part. And I got my little tube holder. My little magnet. And there's my power head in there to move the water around the refugium gets a dose. Here's a look at the LED lights. They're installed. Not too bad, it lights up the, the sump pretty good. And everything is being controlled. Let me back up. Over here, I gotta open the door. Right, either this main system here controls the light, sump light, GFL, and the heater and my Apex Fusion controls everything else. I also got a new power head that I'll show you in my next video. That's it for today. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave comments down below, and tap that bell.